Now, we must be ready for a new danger, the atomic bomb. We want to make sure that the only nukes are ever used were the two that were used in, in World War II. We know the devastation. It's something that you don't want to be ever use. You will know when it comes. We hope it never comes, but we must get ready. But we also want to know that we've got the capability should we need it. By us having that nuclear arsenal, we are able to deter anyone from doing the same thing to us. There is a bright flash, brighter than the sun, brighter than anything you've ever seen. The triad nuclear mission is the ICBM missile, then you have the nuclear submarines, and then you have the air-launched cruise missile. To have these weapons of deterrent means we don't have to go to war. I think that it's, it's best, because we need them, that we're responsible about them. The fact that we all play a role in providing that assurance to the country is pretty awesome. It's something that you wouldn't get to do anywhere else. We've got a wide range in the uh, science and engineering career field here. You get to do whatever type of engineering you want. If you're an industrial engineer, there's spaces for you. If you're quality assurance, there's a place for you. If you want to design something, there's a place for you. Or if you want to test things, blow them up, there's also a place for you there too. There are people who look you know, solely at, at composites. There are people that solely look at different electronic systems. If you're interested in avionics, there's definitely that. The software division is really large, so computer uh, science engineers, even electrical engineers have a great opportunity there. It's rockets, it's aircraft, it's missiles, it's kind of everything. You're never stuck in the same job. There are always uh, places to move. If you're ready to get more experience in a different area, it's out there. Just a broad spectrum of things wherever you want to go. There's so many opportunities to learn and to grow. We take care of every component that makes the missile fly. I'm a troubleshooter, a problem solver. My background is in mechanical engineering, but a lot of the things that I work with, you know, I have to pull knowledge from material science or from electrical engineering, and so I'm constantly challenging and learning and growing. Being an engineer in the government, I get to see the things that are being made today and the things that are going to be used tomorrow. The technology in the Air Force is both the leading edge and a look into the past. A lot of people think that, you know, if you're going to do really cool engineering, you have to be on the cutting edge. But what's really more challenging is to take a system that does have older parts and, and try and figure out creative ways to resolve those. Bringing up the weapon system into the information age. It's almost like building the weapon from ground zero. We got old missiles in silos, but it's a modernization of those missiles. It's putting new technologies in them. You're taking something that's been out in the field for several decades, and we need to find a way to make sure that it is current. How are we gonna do that is really up to future engineers of the Air Force. The thought of designing something like the trestle is very scary and exciting at the same time. The trestle was used for testing aircraft for electromagnetic pulse. It's a pretty impressive structure, completely made out of wood. It's our job as engineers, especially young engineers, to think about how we're going to rebuild this capability. It's exciting, you're doing something nobody else in the world is doing, and scary because you're doing something nobody else in the world is doing. It's always something new and that makes you want to stay for a long time. As a civilian, you get to stay in a position for a lot longer period of time and be that continuity. I don't have to worry about getting laid off tomorrow. You can come and work a program from cradle to grave and own that program and, and really feel invested in that program. For my age, I have a ton of responsibility. I don't know if I would get that opportunity in the commercial world, if you will because we don't work in a profit environment. We have the opportunity to do those hard engineering problems that the commercial industry wouldn't find attractive from a return on investment point of view. If you don't know what you want to do, or if you know you want to do something in aviation, the Air Force is a great place to try different things out. I would definitely recommend anyone who has an interest in being an intern to apply. They were constantly introducing me to new things that I had never experienced before. Palace Acquire program is a great opportunity for, uh, for students that are still in school. We want to have you over the summer. Also, we ideally would love to have you come in during the winter. The Smart Scholar program is another wonderful opportunity because you get the opportunity to work for a couple of years with us, then go away to school. So you're going away to school, we're paying for your master's degree. During that, you also wind up with a stipend from the Air Force. The Smart Scholarship paid my tuition and my books, and they also give you a stipend. I got out of college debt-free and with a sizable savings account already in place. It's not about making money and it's not about climbing a ladder. 
you feel motivated to do your job and to do it well because you know that every day you are supporting your troops in a way that only you can. This is my opportunity to give back. It's a noble profession, an important piece of the overall whole. It's absolutely awesome to know that I'm defending the nation and supporting that nuclear triad. My job is surety, safe, secure, effective, reliable design. My job, it's a perfect engineering job. At the end of the day, I can say that I've made an impact on the world.